Hey guys, it's Jessica Hayes. Today I have another favorites video for you. In this month's favorites, I will be showing you a lot of things that I have in my kit right now. I still have my kit here with me right now after the masterclass that me, Amber Dean and Stephanie Straziri did last weekend. So I'm going to be showing you a few of the things that I mentioned as kit must haves, as well as lots of other favorites from the last two months. If you're wondering why I'm wearing this fabulous wig and you haven't checked out my previous video, make sure you do. I am trying to raise $100,000 for cancer in 100 days. So this wig was given to me by Powder Room D. They also donated another wig for the giveaway as well, the Silver Vamp wig, which is also equally as fabulous, if not even better. So make sure you check that out. I will leave a link right here for that video so you can check it out. Everyone has been so awesome in donating so far and we've already raised almost $2,600, not even in 24 hours yet. So yay for that. So let's jump right into some new favorites. The first ones I want to show you guys are these NYX Cream Highlight and Contour Palettes. Honestly, I never really jumped on the Anastasia Cream Contour Palette bandwagon. Anytime I had a client ask for contouring, I would just usually use a concealer in my kit that was one to two shades darker or lighter. But these ones are awesome, especially for the price as well to have in your kit. So this one right here, the medium, that color right there is awesome for medium to tan skin. It's also really pretty as a cream bronzer as well. And then I also have this one in deep in my kit. And this color right here has been awesome for deeper skin tones. I've been using those two a lot lately with bridal and prom season right now. Another thing that I have that has been fabulous in my kit is this It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Powder. I did have it forever ago in the loose formula, which is still really awesome, but I think for my kit, I do prefer to have something pressed just because it's a little less messy. So if you have a client that has large pores on the cheeks, or if you have them yourself, this it powder is amazing at concealing them. I definitely wouldn't recommend it for dry skin, but if you have oily skin, it's awesome just to use like right here where you get super shiny and where the pores are enlarged as well. Love this powder. Oh my gosh, I cannot even begin to describe how obsessed I am with this highlighter right now. This is the Marc Jacobs Spotlight Cream Highlighter. So it comes as kind of, it looks like a little deodorant stick. Honestly, I saw Dominique post about this and I was like, you know, another highlighter. I love highlighters, but how amazing can it really be? This shit is bananas. It has like a pearly, but also like a hint of gold kind of underglow. Honestly, when I first put it on, I didn't really see the gold. I saw more of like a pearly kind of reflection. But the reason why I love it so much is because it literally just glides onto the skin. I feel like you can't go wrong with this. Sometimes I put cream highlighters on and it takes a little bit of work to buff into the skin and you have to kind of be careful not to move the foundation underneath. But this just glides and almost like melds into the skin beautifully. Absolutely obsessed with this highlighter. Another thing that I always have stocked in my kit are these Cinema Secrets Ultimate Foundation Pro Palettes. This is the one that I use the most. This is the 400 series, which is more of those peachy kind of neutral undertones. They do have one that's just all like yellowy undertones as well. And one that's a lot more warmer than this. Usually I carry about four or five different shade combinations in this, but these are so good to have in your kit. They're a really good high coverage concealer, but you can also shear them down and use them as a foundation as well. Anything that's like small and compact like this, I love having in my kit because I honestly hate bringing too much stuff. So if I have, you know, five colors in just this one small little palette, it's 
amazing. Another favorite that I have in my kit, and this has seen better days because I've had it for so long now, this is the Anastasia Brow Pro Palette. As you can see, I use the color Top quite a lot. I find that this is pretty much suits most shades of eyebrow color, but it's just awesome to have all of those different shades with you instead of having like a million different eyeshadows or a million different brow powders for different clients as well. Another thing that I love to have in my kit, and this is such a luxury item. I bought them kind of on a whim and I've been obsessed with them ever since. So this is the Sumita Makeup Corrector Swabs. So what it is, it's a little Q-tip and it has makeup remover in the actual Q-tip. So you snap this end and then tip it upside down and all of the makeup remover goes into this area here. So I think this little package is only about five bucks or something, but still it is a very luxe item. But like I said, I hate having so much stuff in my kit. So this is great just to have like a little pack of Q-tips and also makeup remover in one. So from the uh, masterclass that we did, Amber Dean did rave a lot about Nabla products and I was very lucky to be able to try some of those products. These magic pencils are going to be staples in my kit. I used to use the MAC Chromaline pencils for lining the waterline. I have right now Light Nude on the inside of my waterline. So this is Light Nude, which is a great color for me. But also there is a color called Dark Nude, which is a little bit deeper. So definitely good for a deeper skin tone. There is one in the middle called Nude as well, which is just in between those two. With these kind of pencils, one shade isn't going to work for all skin tones, obviously. So having a few different skin tones is important in your makeup kit. Another new obsession for me is this highlighter from Star Crushed Minerals. I actually haven't done a proper look with it yet, but I'm so excited to create something. I just feel like it has to be legit and special. So I'm just waiting until I have that creative inspiration. So this is the color Fairy Wings. Hopefully the camera will pick that up a little bit, but it's like a really super, super fine reflective green and kind of like whitish highlighter for the cheekbones or wherever you want to highlight. It is so pretty, so amazing. And Star Crush Minerals are super affordable as well. So I can't wait to do a look with that. I've been wanting a green highlighter for so long. My newest jewelry purchase is this pentacle ring from Burial Ground. I'm absolutely obsessed with the jewelry that they have. They have a super dark aesthetic to their jewelry designs. And all of these are little hand cast twigs as well. So that is my latest jewelry obsession. The artist that I wanted to share with you this week is Kelsiana Fitzpatrick. She is amazing. She's definitely not someone that I have only just started following, but she's a huge inspiration for me. Uh, on the weekend, Stephanie and Amber and I were all talking about how amazing we think she is. Stephanie actually even dubbed her the next Alex Box. So if you're not following her, go and follow her for some amazing inspiration. She is definitely one of my favorite Instagram artists. One last product that I wanted to share with you, kind of a combination between two, these e.l.f. wipes, three bucks. Perfect for removing liquid lipsticks. But also, I just wanted to share with you guys as well this LA Splash Vanishing Potion. When I'm at home, coconut oil works just fine, but I do like to take these little vials with me if I am wearing a liquid lipstick. It's just handy to have because you know that those things do not come off. Yeah. So that was all of my favorites. I did have a big letdown for this month. I can't even show you it because I already returned it pretty much days after I purchased it. And that letdown was unfortunately the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Lash. It was terrible. I actually watched a YouTube, which Charlotte Tilbury is one of my favorite YouTube accounts to watch. And she was doing another favorite YouTuber, which is Pixie Woos. Uh, so she was doing Sam from Pixie Woo's makeup and she was using the new Legendary Lash Mascara and it looked 
phenomenal on Sam's lashes. So there was a super good deal on Ebates on Nordstrom. So I snatched it up and was so excited to try it. And literally, it might be the worst mascara that I've used. Um, I put it on and I was like, well, this is a letdown. It was clumpy. It made my lashes stick together. It didn't make my lashes long at all. But I gave it the benefit of the doubt and I was like, still looks like I'm wearing mascara. If it doesn't smudge or flake, maybe I'll give it another few days to just try it out because sometimes mascaras are really crap the first week that you open them, but then they're amazing after they dry out a little bit. So I gave it that. It was smudged all underneath my eyes, probably like two hours later. I did try it out for two days because I did just wanna see if I could make it work. It didn't work at all. It didn't matter how much powder I put underneath my eyes to stop it from smudging underneath. So if you were thinking about getting that mascara, I would probably give it a miss. Still my favorite mascara right now is the IT Cosmetics Superhero Lash. So thank you guys for tuning into my favorites. I hope that you've liked me switching it up a little bit, adding a little jewelry uh, component. Actually, a subscriber did mention to drop maybe a favorite band or movie that I was watching. I actually saw The Conjuring 2 in Salem at a drive-in theater with my good friend Stephanie and Amber and her little crew. Um, and that movie was amazing, The Conjuring 2. Uh, I definitely recommend it if you're a horror fan. And if you guys have the time, I would love it if you could check out my 100K in 100 Days for Cancer fundraiser. If you've already donated to it, thank you so much. I can't even believe the generosity that all of the companies that have donated and also my friends and families and followers and maybe even randoms that have seen it as well. There's been so many donations coming in and I'm just super thankful and I'm really excited to hit 100,000 and shave my head and wear awesome wigs all the time. <laughs> Thank you very much for tuning in all my lovely subscribers and I will see you guys next Tuesday for my next video.